boy, Big Ski, man. First and foremost, shout out to the new sponsorships for Ski TV. Herbarium. Herbarium Buds. Best Buds in Hollywood. They offer prayer. Man, this week got me high as fuck. Shit! What's the deal, y'all? It's your boy, Big Ski. I know y'all probably sitting here like, why the fuck the homie got his shirt off? Because this is the prison episode. I'm about to let y'all know how the fuck shit was going because it was crazy as fuck. I'm going to tell y'all about how these motherfuckers tried to pack me out on my last day. You bitch-ass motherfuckers. Look at me now, motherfucker. Look at me now, motherfucker. Y'all thought y'all was going to hold a real one down. It ain't possible. You know why? Because I'm too legit to quit. Put MC Hammer up here. I want to see the hammer dance. So first and foremost, I went to prison. It was some bullshit, some bullshit catfish shit. They tried to make me seem like I was some fucking pimp when I was a goddamn security guard. I was like fucking day day, man. I was the top flight security guard of the motherfucking world, man. Then I was just on my way to get me a vehicle, man. And y'all just wanted to take my life away from me. Fuck y'all. Fuck the system. Fuck y'all. And fuck you, I'm out. Y'all gonna get that shit. Y'all gonna get what's owed to y'all. So at the end of the day, may God bless you. Tried to scar my name in a different way. But look what happened. Ah, 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 ah. Bring <laughs> They had me up in Theo Lacey, up in Orange County. You feel me? That shit was like racist. They got their own privately owned jail out there. So they got their own stipulations. They got their own rules. It's like whatever the fuck they say goes. You feel me? Not to put them out there like that. But if y'all got some people that's in any type of Orange County like jails right now, really go tap into their cases and really go like look for your people because they really might didn't do it. You feel what I'm saying? And don't shut them out because a lot of my family members heard that shit like, what? Kiki was pimping? What the fuck? Hell no. Nah. And then they was mad. But then when they came to visit me and see me behind the glass, I'm like, bro, I was at work. Like, I was just only on the phone. Like, I never met nobody. Like, I never took nobody to no whole stroll. You know me. I'm not no fucking pimp. I'm too fucking funny for that shit. Too cool for that shit. Too smooth for that shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, over at Theo Lacey, shout out to Officer Garcia, you feel me? He a real one. Shout out to Officer Navarro, he a real one as well. I would let him know, like, man, I don't even know really, like, why me or what did I really do besides just texting somebody, you know? Like, that shit tripped me the fuck out that they took three, four years of my life. I got paperwork on this shit. No victim, cuz. Like, how could you human traffic nobody? You have to have a human to traffic, right? I ain't the smartest man in the world, but... If my paperwork say no victim and you gave me human trafficking, what that sound like? They tried to scar Big Ski, man. I don't know what I was doing to where it made them want to do that, but I apologize. But the time y'all gave me, it made me, it, it sat me down. And the shit that I have done in life, I just looked at it like, okay, let me just do this time and you know what I mean? Get my brain sharper. No harm foul. Am I hot over that shit right now? No. You can't stop me, cuz. I'm too good. My heart too good. Like, I'll be broke, cuz, giving other people money, my nigga. My heart is too good. Like, I didn't like that shit, though. I was in a 23-hour lockdown, like, in a low-ass cell for 23 hours a day, cuz. Then when I get out, that motherfucker, everybody lined up for a shower, cuz. Two showers. Niggas lined up for a shower. Eight niggas over here at the phone lined up. Ten goofy-ass niggas over here playing cards. About to start a fight. You got... Other niggas standing at other niggas' doors talking. It was up to I used to wake up, make me my cup of joe, hit my push-ups. Right in the middle of that, I'll have my cup of coffee, get more push-ups in, the extra two, three hundred in. I'll do about five hundred push-ups. Go outside. We'll be when it's the yard time, we'll go out to the yard, hoop, play some ball. Shout out to my boy, Self Records, man. Shout out to my boy, GM Real. You already Ski. know what it is, man. Shout out to my boy. We got touchdown on the way. He was out there on the yard with me. Just play ball and shit. Work out even more. Hit laps. We probably would run some laps. You feel what I'm saying? If the basketball court was tied up. Handball. Handball was pretty cool. After that, we'll fucking go back upstairs. If not, if we didn't shower, fucking eat. So the food in there, but. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that shit was butt. So you need to, like, I hope a lot of y'all didn't fuck over y'all family. See, this is when people don't be getting store and food up in there. When y'all be on the phone cussing y'all people out, stressing them out even more. They already stressing your ass up in there, first of all. 
Then you're going to stress him out about some damn, why you ain't answering the phone? Why you ain't doing it? You can't do all that shit, man. Your life is in there. Their life is on the outside. They got to do some shit to make some shit happen. You just got to deal with the shit, man. I always felt like I wasn't supposed to be there, man. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody that's doing their time. And like, you feel me? If you did the crime, you're doing your time. And you're going to find the best way to walk through that life and walk through that journey with your head held high. Because I really felt every fucking day I was in there that I wasn't supposed to be there, my nigga. So that shit just fucked me up, nigga. Knowing my brother just dropped, I got the juice, cuz. I'm out here in the streets, like, listening to cuz rap and all his music going up. And then, boom, I get put in the clean. The fucking guards is telling me, oh, man, that ain't your brother. Whoopie, whoop, whoop, whoop. Niggas is in Orange County. Oh, nigga, whoopie, whoop. Oh, nigga, you gonna be up in here, nigga, missing everything. That... Talk right there made me want to get big as fuck to sock up everybody, cuz. <laughs> no lie. Like, that made me want to just be like, you know what? They don't know that I'm an ex-athlete and I'll blow the fuck up. Every night, TMZ will come on. I'm waking my bunkie up. Come on, nigga, let's work out. Let's work out, eat a spread, go to sleep. Wake up, go play basketball, come back, do the same thing every day. This I seen in the county jail how motherfuckers was smoking. Smoking! Shit was crazy as fuck. I'm out there like playing basketball and shit, and I'm seeing niggas walking in a circle like six people right here, four people right here, three people right here. And it's a half court basketball little spot. So I'm doing my shit playing basketball. The fucking ball fly over here in the corner. So I start chasing it and I start running up on this group, but it was like four of them. And then one of them turned like, no, 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 let it go, let it go. Forget about it, cuz. And then I just seen smoke pop up. And then I'm like, what the fuck? So I grabbed the ball, I'm like, good looking. Turn around and I'm like, these niggas smoking something. So instantly I'm like, man, hold on, I gotta find out what they smoking. If they smoking a cigarette, I need one, cuz. They walking in the circle. They had some tobacco. Bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Do you know going to prison for something you don't even know what the fuck is going on and then you get a bugler a whole year later fighting the case? So yeah, I asked him, right? How do I fucking get me some tobacco? I wanted to be smoking myself. I don't like smoking with niggas. Know if these niggas is kissing each other. I don't know what the fuck these niggas is doing. I want to smoke my own shit. Yeah, the niggas be in there doing that shit. You better hope that nigga ain't no skinny nigga. Tell you that now. Sorry, y'all niggas be the main ones in there. Ah! Ah! Fighting that case and then seeing these four little fuckers smoking in that corner just made my whole stay. Shout out to Robert Cross, man. You did that. He's the reason for the season. I see him the next morning going to chow. Hey, bro, where, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Sacktown. He was with the bullshit, too. Little short stuff, but like buff, little pimp nigga. He really was pimping. My nigga was really doing his thing. Me, I was a goddamn security guard, and I'm telling this nigga, he like, bro, you gonna get out. Everybody in there telling me you gonna get out. That shit used to piss me the fuck off. You had no victim, boy? Well, you ain't for pimping? You had no victim? Cause I don't know, nigga. They arrested me at El Pueblo Loco on my lunch break, nigga. Arrested me in L.A. Harbor. Took me to Orange County in a soccer mom van. How does that even fucking happen? Talking about I had a warrant on the driving suspended license. It's fucking 30 cop cars out here right now. Scared the fuck out of me, man. Thought I was gonna fucking die. And my bitch ass coworker, I don't even remember your name, cub, but fuck you. Cause you could have told them motherfuckers, man. Your ass just stood there. Fucking arrested me at a goddamn security uniform. But when it was time to take my mug shot, y'all made me take that shit off. And now I had a fucking white tee on. That was fucked up. I didn't never understand that shit. That was crazy y'all did that shit. As soon as I took that mug shot, cub, that was wrong. And once they told me I was going to prison, You know, I was really mind blown. What? I felt like Lil John. 
what? I said, cuz, I'm working out every day until I get home. And when I get to this fucking prison, any nigga want to smoke? I'm dropping the demo. First day. Bing, 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 bing. God is my witness. I'm a good man. But a nigga tried to test me. A nigga tried to test me. And got his ass whooped. Seven seconds. Flashed on the guard. Looked at them like, what the fuck is going on? Spray me. This motherfucker tripped on me for looking like somebody else. Caught an extra 60 days. First week there. But I had to give them the mix. I had to give everybody the free mixtape. The demo was set. It was like DJ Khaled dropped the mixtape and just gave it to the world. Everybody seen the demonstration. So they say, when I come back into the dorm, hey, 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 Compton, now y'all niggas know I ain't from up north. Sorry I had to beat your homie ass, nigga, but I ain't from up north, bro. No disrespect to nobody up north, but I am not some nigga named Booger. That shit pissed me off, cuz. I'm in here for some shit I didn't even fucking do, cuz. I'm in here for text messaging. Missing my son and my girl, my kids, nigga. And you talking about a nigga named Booger. <laughs> Fuck you and Booger, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, nigga. Whoever Booger is, man, somebody don't like you, Booger. Make me want to dig in my nose. Nigga named Booger, cuz. Got me 60 days, Booger. Extra 60 days, man. So after everybody see the demo, I get back to the dorm, find my bunk. It's all of the people shit on there. As soon as I get, oh man, my bad, Compton, my bad. Everything is cool. I ain't tripping. They start working out next to me. I'm new to this shit though because they ain't working out together like this in fucking Theo Lacey. So we deep as fuck. Like y'all just fucking program. Just find something to do. Watch TV and shit. That was cool. It was three TVs and shit. One TV would be playing like the Hispanic channels. One TV would be playing like some sports. Then the next TV was just like, you know, optional. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever, like whoever was holding the floor, like whoever had the controller and shit. All that shit was bullshit too. Like shout out to my boy Marcel. He had the he had the floor. So we would be watching like my brother and OT Genesis when they popped up at the BET Awards. Man, that shit was dope. My brother popped up on TMZ. Shout out to Marcel too, man, because he was in another dorm. He was across the way from me, but once, like, the word got out, like, yeah, that's AD brother right there. He had a gang of fucking CDs, like, and some dude walked up to my bunk one day and was just like, hey, Compton, this dude wants you to listen to this CD. I'm like, all right. So he let me use a CD player, and I put the CD in, and I hear Game, I hear uh, Mitchie Slick, I hear Joe Moses, RJ. I'm like, damn. Is he sending me a sign? Like, you want me to hear all the bloods? What's going on? Then they, the beat switch. And then I just hear my brother's voice, bro. I'm a real cop and crip. I hope you niggas get the message. That shit brung me to tears, cuz. Like, to real fucking tears. Like, I fucking paused that shit, opened the CD player, got this memory screenshot of what this CD looks like, put it back in, went to that song, started working out. And then when I finished doing push-ups, I looked up and across the dorm, everybody was over there like, like just going like this to me, like giving it up. Like that shit was crazy as fuck. That shit turned me up in a whole nother fucking way. Then the next day I go to the yard, we play, it's a, it was a basketball league. I had a basketball game. I finished and then they walk up to me again like, hey, listen to this. I look at the CD. I'm like, why, YG. I'm like, this nigga got a song with YG, cuz. And now I just like, low key, no cap, no kizzy. I'm gonna give y'all my first thought of it. I'm like, cuz, I hope my brother are all right. Like, I know they on the other side of town. Like, and I know, like, the Red Rags be deep with YG, and that's much love, much respect. But I was like, damn, I hope all that shit went all right. Come to find out, it was a fucking shooting there, AK going on. A brother's intuition is a brother's intuition. So I fucking put the CD in, go to the song. I see it say, I'm a thug, AD, future, and YG. Oh my God. 
then this nigga passes me a CD with Wiz Khalifa, cuz. And I'm just like, I've had enough. If I don't come out and be somebody, I am a bum. A bum. Not only did he fucking conquer the world, he paved the way for his family, man. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. I seen my little brother Fiddy bang in there. That was a blessing. I seen him coming from court. I was coming from court. Shout out to my little brother Amir Fiddy bang. I gave him a picture of his nephew. I gave him a cross off my neck. He'll be home. He'll be home in a few. He'll be home in a couple. By the time he come home, y'all, make sure Ski TV is on a whole nother platform, you guys, before my little brother Fiddy Bang come home. I need to get my brother a Tesla soon as he gets out of prison. I'm going to make this a video the day he gets out. That's my promise to you, Fiddy. Big Ski, your big brother AD, your family going to be out there for you. I know you're going to be having PTSD, cuz. You ain't going to want to whip. But just know, cuz, we're going to float that motherfucker back, cuz. And we're going to sag to all that new shit that's going on right now. You're about to be on. Your brother AD going to take you on the shopping spree. So cold. So cold. And remember when we used to write each other, bro. We used to talk about this moment right here. He did. He kept his word, bro. So you know he's going to keep his word with you, too. Shout out to AD, man. Kept your word, cuz. Shout out to Officer Rogan and Officer Kelly, man. Officer Rogan, mainly you, though. You kept that shit real with me, bro. When I was in that dorm, you used to let me fucking listen to my brother music and shit. Like, throughout the dorm, it wasn't like he was doing no extra shit, giving us phones or no shit like that. Like, he would fucking play the music on the loudspeaker to where we could work out to some real shit. And by you playing my brother, bro, every day, that that had everybody in that dorm, like, showing me a whole different type of, like, respect. Like, I had my own shit. Like, my family would send me shit. Like, I had food. I was good. You feel me? But they made me feel like I was going to be somebody before I came home. Being around gorillas like that, and they fucking with you, like, on some cool shit when they really could be pressing you, that shit was cool. So, look, man. Don't do no stupid shit to, like, take you away from your family. Don't do that, man. That shit dumb. I know life get hard, you feel me? But don't make the dumb decisions. It's hard right now. Y'all don't think I'm under a lot of pressure right now with this camera all in my motherfucking face? With these lights and shit, cuz? This shit be having me hot, nigga. Nigga, I'm hot as fuck right now. I just had to take my shirt off, cuz. I was sweating like a motherfucker. Should I tell y'all about the cell phone? <laughs> I want to hear about how to cell phone. <laughs> Did I get in trouble for talking about how the cell phone got in there? <laughs> Maybe y'all just got to tune in and subscribe to part two. Prison Talks 2 is coming too. Thank y'all for tuning in for Ski TV. Like, comment, and subscribe. If not, I'm going to go get me a rhino and I'm going to fuck your bitch.